This week on The Wire, ANZ predicts 21% price growth, first home buyers active despite price rises, and lockdowns fail to dampen growth. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. We can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, ANZ predicts 21% price growth. So ANZ has lifted its house price growth forecast really and expects prices to continue to rise for the next two years, although the pace of growth may slow in 2022. Now predicts that Canberra house prices will increase the most by the end of the year, up 24%. ANZ says Sydney and Hobart house prices will increase by 23%, Brisbane 21%, and Melbourne 20%. Now the bank predicts Darwin house prices will increase 19% by the end of the year, just below the national average increase of 21%. ANZ has revised its forecast upward for every capital city and says lockdowns had failed to dampen buy demand. It says investors are returning to the market and auction clearance rates are holding firm as listings remain low. Now the bank's forecast for 2022 is much more subdued growth of 7% nationally followed by just 3% growth in 2023. Now guys, moving on to our next story. So first home buyers active despite price rises. So first home buyers are still keen to get a foothold in the market despite property price increases throughout Australia. Now analysis by the Real Estate Institute of Australia shows that first home buyers aren't afraid to take on substantial debt if it means they can buy a property. Now first home buyers are allocating larger proportions of their income to paying off a mortgage. The average family income has increased 112.8% since 2001, but average home loan repayments have gone up 179.4%. Now the average loan has increased from $157,000 to just over $548,000 and there are 67% more first home buyers in the market now than 20 years ago. Now REIA President Adrian Kelly says the first home buyers are not afraid of taking on debt as they want to escape the rent cycle and like the security of bricks and mortar. Bernard Salt, Executive Director of the Demographic Groups, chalks the dynamic up to the maturing millennial generation finally giving up on their cosmopolitan inner city lifestyles for a house in the suburbs. And now guys, for our final story of the week, lockdowns fail to dampen growth. So prolonged lockdowns have done little to dampen property price growth with CoreLogic figures revealing prices are continuing to increase in both New South Wales and Victoria despite being under strict stay at home orders. Now hesitancy from vendors to list their properties for sale during the lockdown periods has increased competition for a smaller pool of properties and is leading to price increases. CoreLogic head of research Tim Lawless predicts listings will continue to fall in Melbourne, particularly while physical inspections of properties are banned. Now while listings might be down, transaction numbers have remained stable. Lawless expects price growth to once uh, slow once lockdowns end and more people list their homes for sale. He says you wouldn't expect housing values to continue rising at this pace for such an extended period of time. Now, the imbalance between supply and demand has resulted in national property values increasing by 16.1% in the last 12 months from the 1st of August. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, guys, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.